Hey, what's up, tubers? It's Tony, and today I'm going to show you the location of and how to remove your coolant temperature sensor on your 07 GMC Envoy. I want you folks to keep in mind that on some of the earlier model Envoys, I believe the coolant temperature sensor is located behind the alternator, just like on the Chevy Trailblazers, but I'll show you how to check for that momentarily. Again, the coolant temperature sensor is located on the front passenger side of the motor. So you want to jack the vehicle up. Here's your strut. Come right in here. You're going to find this little flap right here. You can pin it up or you can remove it, whichever works for you. Then go straight in there. And then go in the corner up top. You'll notice a rusty orange-like bolt on the bottom and some scribbles next to it. Right above those little scribbles or marks, there is your coolant temperature sensor, okay? When you go up top, this line will be in your way and you can simply push it to move it out of the way so that you can expose the sensor. Tools you'll need to do this job, guys. Seven millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket for the coolant temperature sensors removal, a swivel, a long driver and a 3 8 ratchet. Make sure you disconnect the black cable from your battery before you start working on anything electrical in your vehicle. So now that I've located the sensor, I remove the air box. 7 millimeter, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters, and you'll find another 7 holding this on. There's your throttle body for those of you who are looking for it. There are your six ignition coils retained by a 10 millimeter bolt. Remember I told you, this line here, you can push it out of your way so that you can see the sensor either from the bottom passenger side or you can get to the sensor from up here. It's up to you. Keep in mind, there are many, many different ways of doing this. I'm giving you the way that I know how to do this. And again, you can use whatever method that you believe works for you. To locate the coolant temperature sensors electrical connector, stand in front of the motor and face the windshield. Again, there are your six ignition coils. Find this object here in this runway. At the end of the runway, you will find the coolant temperature sensors electrical connector. And I'll show you how to get that out momentarily. So folks, here is your electrical connector for the coolant temperature sensor. It's going to be mounted to that little hole. Let me see if I can get you a better picture. It's going to be mounted in that little hole right there. Just take something and pry it out. It comes with its own new little gadget that goes down into that hole to hold it into place. This is a little lock that's designed to keep the tab from being pushed in. I don't know why, but anyway, to get it loose, you have to take something and either push down in that center tab at the same time while pulling the white the white piece back. So here is the tab pushed all the way back and now you can push down safely on this part and disconnect the two. So there they are disconnected. If you go back there and you find that this piece is missing or broken then all you need to do is just push down on the tab and safely pull it apart. Then you can pry this part of the sensor out of its housing. Remember to put it back down in its housing and reconnect the electrical, the electrical connector when you're done. There are two different ways you can get to the sensor, guys. You can go up top and stick your 15 millimeter socket over the sensor, or you can come down on the passenger side and do the same thing. So here's what I do, folks. I take a pair of cutters and I cut the wire that goes to the coolant temperature sensor. I cut it as close to the sensor as I possibly can. And then I take my 15 millimeter socket, swivel, and a long driver. And I go back there and put it on that socket just feed this over the wires that you cut and then lefty loosey righty tighty 
Now I want to show you guys. That's all I did. And just put a, a ratchet on the end of the driver and you can turn it out. Okay? That's one way of doing it, guys. You could also come up here with your socket and simply put your socket over the coolant temperature sensor and your ratchet will go over the socket. There's more than enough room up here to do it and turn it out as well. So now you have options as to how you can do it and I'll leave it up to you as to which route you take. Keep a long pair of needle nose pliers on hand, guys, because sometimes the socket will get stuck around the coolant temperature sensor. I've already broken it loose, guys. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, and now all I need to do is remove my ratchet and just slowly turn the sensor out. I'm going to try my best to give you a picture of that, guys. Okay, so lefty loosey. Righty tighty. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So lefty loosey. Righty tighty. Okay, folks, I had to put another driver on it so that I can turn it out. And there you go, guys. It's loose. There is your coolant temperature sensor. You don't want it to fall. There's your coolant temperature sensor, guys. It's just that easy. If you know for a fact that you're going to be replacing the coolant temperature sensor, guys, you don't need a special tool. Just take some cutters and cut the wire as close to the sensor as you possibly can. And then feed your 15 millimeter socket over that. Okay? Now, how do I get the coolant temperature sensor back in? I'll show you that in a moment. Remember that when you go to remove the coolant temperature sensor, be prepared with a catch can as you're going to lose some coolant and you want to make sure the engine is cold before you start such a task. To get this back in guys you're going to probably need a 18 millimeter crow's foot as a 15 millimeter crow's foot will not fit over this and work correctly to get it in okay it's just way too tight of a spot. To put it back in, I just simply reach back up in there and hand thread it. And when you do that, you, this will allow you, by hand threading it, you'll be able to turn this sensor all the way in until it almost bottoms out. So you'll really only need to turn it a couple of good times to make it tight, okay? This is a tedious process to put it back in, so take your time, okay? Okay, folks. I've turned it back in by hand until I can get it in as tight as I possibly can get it. And then you will simply take a short, medium size or long driver and your 18 millimeters crow's foot. You can try the 15 and see if it works. Um, so whatever method you're gonna use to tighten that, you are going to just have to take your time and give it a couple good turns, check for leaks, Okay, make sure you reconnect your electrical connector for the sensor up top. Okay, put your air box back on, your four um, clamps, bolts, whatever. Hook your battery back up, and if you had check engine code, I believe it is P0118 or P0119 that told you that you had a bad coolant temperature sensor, you want to reset your check engine light. So again, if you're not sure where your coolant temperature sensor is located, jack up the passenger front wheel, remove it, place it safely on a jack stand. 
look under this flap and then go up in there and look. If you see your cooling temperature sensor there, then you know it's not located behind the alternator. This will save you a lot of stress of taking that apart just to find out that it's not there. So I want you folks to see the alternator has been removed. There is no coolant temperature sensor located there, okay? Just so you know. So always double check on the passenger side first to verify if you see the coolant temperature sensor there. It'll save you a lot of stress back here. This is a crow's foot for those of you that do not know what a crow's foot looks like. And this is what you're going to use along with a short or long or whatever size driver and possibly even a swivel to go up in that corner and tighten the uh, coolant temperature sensor. Now, this is what I use to pluck the um, housing for the coolant temperature sensor off of that hole back there at the end of this runway. Okay, you can find these sets at Harbor Freight. Okay, just remember to hook up everything in the end, guys. Reconnect your battery, reset your check engine light, and I hope the video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. One last time, I want to say this one last time to verify where your cooling temperature sensor is, go to the front passenger side again, look up in that corner. If you see the cooling temperature sensor sitting there then you will know this is where it is. If you do not see it, then it's located behind the alternator. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.